Okay, now we're going to work a little bit with gravity and uh, speed, things like acceleration, etc. Um, so we'll call two new uh, variables in and we'll call the f first one up speed as double. You could call it single, I suppose. I'm just used to using double just to make sure I've got enough uh, accuracy. And forward speed. Is double okay <coughs> now I don't need a down down speed and a back speed because I'm just going to convert these to negative numbers uh, to make it go the opposite way okay so I'm also going to define a couple of constants uh, constant uh, we'll call it max up speed speed in fact, no, we only need a max down speed because we're only taking gravity into account. We're only going to be able to jump a certain amount. Okay, we're going to call max down speed a double, uh, and we're going to let's say our max down speed, uh, the maximum we can fall at, we'll call it uh, eight or something like that. Okay, so that means our max down speed. We can easily change that later on to any other figure. Okay, and we'll also say max forward speed that's double and we'll call that probably four uh in fact let's call it six just so we can see a bit get a bit more uh forward speed in this and you'll you'll see this accelerating okay so now what i want to say is i'll grab my forward speed and instead of saying uh if left key pressed then uh, move the earth image uh I'm going to add another sub and call it private sub move image and I'm just going to set add this in twice plus forward speed now we're going to say because this is a variable that we're going to populate in a minute so that means it's going to move forward at our forward speed and then we're also going to say it's move its top our up speed up speed okay so if left pressed then uh, we're going to say uh, if left pressed then if my forward speed is less than minus maximum forward speed in other words i'm going um i'm less than minus the maximum i'm less than minus eight basically uh at minus six even sorry that'll stop me from um going backwards too quick but i'll say it's greater than uh so in other words i'm above minus eight and i'm pressing left then my forward speed equals my forward speed plus let's say 0.1 Okay, and now I'll use an else if because this this can speed things up a little bit. Uh, right key pressed. In fact, now I need it on the other part uh, to say else if 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 the left key is pressed, then do that. Otherwise, if right key is pressed, because obviously you don't want to be able to press them both at the same time, uh, then it'll do this bit. So I need to basically say the opposite if it's less than the full max forward speed. Then I want to take some off of it. In fact, I want to take it off there. I want to add it on there. Okay. So. If I keep pressed, I'll take that off completely. So now what we're saying is obviously the image moving the image on the main loop. I'm doing my collision check, so it's obviously still falling. Check for the floor. If the left is pressed, then my forward speed will be increasing, but it'll only increase if uh, I'm less than my maximum speed, and the same for uh, backward speed. So let's just see if that works for now. Okay, I don't think I called the subs. That, that's an easy mistake to make. 
uh, even if I do say so myself. Uh, move the image. It's part of my main loop. So I didn't call this bit basically to say I need to move my image by the amount of my forward speed and the amount of my up speed. Okay, and also while I'm doing this, I'll um, I'll check to say my up speed. Sorry, if my f margin. Uh, Instead of decreasing the speed now, sorry, what I want to do is uh, up speed equals up speed minus 1, let's say 0.1. Get rid of the earth margin because we're just, we're just decreasing the up speed a little bit there. Okay, plus 1. In fact, so if I'm not colliding with the floor, I'm going to increase my my falling speed. If uh, I also need to make sure that my up speed is less than max down speed, then we'll call that. Okay. Uh, otherwise, up speed equals zero. Okay, so that means it's on the floor, which means I'm going to set my up speed to zero. So the image is falling, you see it accelerating, and you see that accelerating towards the right, and it's falling off the screen. Okay, so I'll decrease those a little bit so you can see that a little bit more. Put that one down to 6 and that one down to 4. And I'll also move my image a little bit higher, I think, so you can see it falling a bit further. I'll get rid of this label for now because I'm not using it. So let's move that all the way up there. And now I run it. And you see it accelerating as it falls, but to a maximum speed. So now while I'm pressing right and left, it's it's moving that direction and increasing in speed. Obviously right and left you want it to be able to slow down maybe. So you can slow it down and keep it at a certain speed moving across. So there's my acceleration on my ball. Or the earth. 